Hello, hello, Amanda in Essex here. Thank you for coming back to my channel for day two of the Fly Ladies 31 Baby Steps. And step number two of the Fly Ladies 31 Baby Steps is get dressed to shoes every single day. So yesterday we did step one, which was to shine your sink. And today we're gonna do step two, which is get dressed to shoes. And when I say get dressed to shoes, Please don't write to me and tell me that you don't wear shoes indoors in the UK or that you don't wear shoes indoors in Japan or in Canada or wherever you may be or in, you know, up in the north of Europe. I know that you don't wear shoes indoors. I know culturally in the UK as well, we don't wear shoes indoors. That said, we're now going to wear shoes <laughs> indoors. So you used to not wear shoes indoors, but now that you started doing the Fly Ladies Baby Steps, you do wear shoes indoors. And I am not talking about big clunky outdoor boots. I am talking about a pair of shoes that you lace up. They need to be lace ups and that you can wear indoors. These are my indoor shoes. I do not wear them outdoors. They are strictly for indoors. They're non-marking shoes. It's one pair of shoes that I've just cleaned up. They're not new. I've just cleaned them up and designated them as my indoor shoes. And that's what you're going to do today. You're going to start wearing shoes indoors. It's a little bit tough. I know this step is a little bit tough for people who aren't used to it, but we're making changes in our life. We're shining our sink and we're wearing our shoes indoors. So pick a pair that lace up that you're gonna clean up and start wearing indoors. So you're gonna watch me right now. I'm putting mine on. And um, something that I remember from my childhood and maybe you do too, particularly if you grew up in the United States, is Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. And um, Mr. Rogers used to start every episode with the little song, Won't You Be My Neighbor? And he would come into his house and he would take off his blazer from work and he would put on a zip-up cardigan. Those cardigans were actually made by his mother, which is an interesting fact. But then he would change his shoes and he would change from his outdoor shoes into a pair of lace-ups to wear indoors. His were often plimsolls, so something like Keds or, um, trying to think of the other names of popular plimsolls, Superga, that sort of thing, that were just a light pair of non-marking shoes that he would wear indoors. So if Mr. Rogers can wear his shoes indoors, so can you. So I've got my lace-ups on now, and I'm just gonna tie them up. Okay, so now that we're dressed to shoes, I've got mine on, there we are, laced up, um, we can get on with our day and we're ready to go. I know that getting dressed to shoes um, can be tricky. As well as getting dressed to shoes, you also need to fix your hair and your face. So you can see I've got my makeup on. This is not a good hairdo, but I've combed it. <laughs> um, so I've combed my hair. I've put my makeup on. If you don't wear makeup, that's fine, but at the very least, you should every day be putting on some SPF, some sun protection factor onto your skin. So you should moisturize your skin at the very least if you don't wear makeup. But in fact, I encourage you to wear makeup because I find that just everything looks better through a coat of mascara. <laughs> uh, you know, if you've got a coat of mascara and a bit of lip gloss on, you're just gonna feel a lot better about yourself. I already feel energized now that I've Put my shoes on like I'm already feeling great so one fly lady tip that I'll give you so you're doing two things now you're shining your sink so you don't have to do the full bleaching every single night what you need to do is just wipe the gunk out of it and use your dish towel and dry it out once you dry it out you put that dish towel into the laundry basket and you put out the clean fresh dish towel for the next day so that's thing number one you are shining your sink Number two, you're getting dressed to shoes, fixing your hair and your face every day. And it actually takes a lot of time, especially if you've got little kids. If you work, you're having to get them ready for nursery. You're having to get everything ready to go. It takes a lot of time. It's actually quite tricky to do. So the second tip that I have to give you besides putting out a clean dish towel is to choose your clothes the night before. So do two things. Think about what you're doing the next day. So check your calendar. Are you going to work? Are you taking the kids to school? What are you doing? And then think about the weather. So check the weather and make sure that 
whatever you've chosen the night before to wear is appropriate for the weather. So I'll just talk to you about, this is why I've got clothes hanging around here. I'll just talk to you about my day tomorrow and what I've chosen to wear and how I go about doing this to help me get dressed to shoes, fix my hair and face every day so that, that um, I can look like my best version of myself. One thing that I do is shower at night. So I do my shower in the evening, just a quick one so that, um, you know, that's done. And I also choose my clothes for the next day and I hang them here on the back of my door. <clears throat> you don't need to have these hooks. You don't need to have these systems. You can fold it and put it onto a chair in your bedroom. You can stick it in your bathroom, do whatever you need to do. I'm just showing you what I do that's helpful for me. So tomorrow, today's Friday, tomorrow is Saturday. So on Saturdays, we take our children swimming and we do our exercise. So we go to our country club, we drop the children into the creche. We um, then go have workouts ourselves. I do yoga. And then after yoga, we pick up the children out of the creche, my husband and I, and we take them swimming. So I also have to, so I have to have yoga kit for myself. I have to have swimming kit for myself. And then the actual outfit that I'm going to wear for the day home so that I don't stay in my gym kit all day long. You know who you are if you like to stay in your gym kit all day long. And look, I, I love a leisure wear look. I know athleisure is a big look right now. Sporty chic. I mean, I love that look. I'm not judging. I'm just saying spending all day in your gym kit is similar to spending all day in your uh, in your pajamas. So just have a think about that, that you're really your best version of yourself every day. So tomorrow, first things first, I go to yoga. So actually I'm going to put this yoga kit on to leave the house so that I can drop the kids into crush and go straight into my class. So here I've got my yoga outfit. It's black. It's long sleeved. I've got pant yoga pants in there. And as well as having the yoga outfit, I have the shoes. So these are my trainers that I'm going to wear to the gym. They're already packed and hanging on the door and ready to go. In addition, I also have the accessories that I'll need, such as sports bra, socks, underwear. Uh, I even put my perfume in there, the perfume that I want to wear to class tomorrow. My ponytail holder. So I'm not running around in the morning looking for a ponytail holder. And I also like to wear jewelry when I do yoga. The women in my yoga class that, you know, out in Essex, there's a lot of diamonds on show. They all wear jewelry. So, you know, I want to fit in too. So I have my necklace and I actually have an anklet and some stud earrings that I packed for myself to wear tomorrow. I like to wear an anklet to do yoga because you're staring at your feet a lot and you're barefoot. So for me, it's nice to have a little anklet on and it just makes me happy so there's that that's my outfit to do yoga in tomorrow morning so i can get up and get dressed to shoes straight away i'm also going to go ahead and pack my bag so this is the bag that i take to the country club which includes my kit for yoga swimming and um showering and then getting dressed for the day so here's that so what i'm actually going to wear tomorrow <laughs> when i'm not at the gym is this little outfit here so i saw as i was putting this look together today this kilt that is wintry you know it's made of wool and if i don't get this worn it's going to be out of season so I started building my outfit around this kilt that I haven't worn all winter yet. I wore it a lot last year, but I haven't worn it yet this year. This kilt that I wanted to wear. So put that into my bag for getting dressed after my shower. It's kind of a mini skirt, so it needs to have some thick tights with it. In the UK, we often wear black tights, but these are like a teal color, which I really liked. So putting the tights into the bag. I also don't want to come out in my trainers after I've had my shower and, you know, I may have lunch with my husband or whatever after the gym. So I've packed a pair of cute little cocktail flats um, that I can wear 
after the swimming and the yoga and the shower. Those are going into the bag. Of course, I'm also gonna need another set of knickers, bra, and underwear that I haven't done yoga in. So here's the extra set of bra and knickers. And then my blouse for tomorrow. It's quite a prim little look with a pussy bow blouse and a kilt, but I like it and I think it will be cute. So we'll put that into the bag. We're also doing swimming tomorrow. So I've got my swimsuit to go into the bag and my towel. You hate to get out of swimming or go to the gym and you finished your shower and you don't have a towel. And I've actually, I packed this bag from like the last thing that I'm going to need is my clothes that I'll have after my shower to the first things that I'm going to need, which is actually the stuff for my yoga class. So I'm packing it backwards. <clears throat> Here is my little box of shower stuff that I take with me to the gym that has deodorant. This is um, a hair mask that I put on my hair before I go swimming because I have color treated hair. And it really does help keep my hair in better shape um, when I'm swimming. And I also have conditioner in there, deodorant, basic things that I need. And that goes. Now, to save myself a little bit of space in my bag, I actually don't take my own yoga mat. I have my own yoga mat, but I don't actually take it. I use the yoga mat that they provide at the gym. That said, you don't always want to put your face against the yoga mat at the gym. So I take this towel. It's a little waffle microfiber towel, if you can see it. Um, it's actually sort of a golf towel. And I put this over my mat from the gym, my own towel. I also take essential oil with me that I sprinkle onto the towel because some of those mats can sometimes be smelly, like if there's been a pump class or something like that in before you. So I take my essential oil and sprinkle it onto my towel. I rub it onto myself so that I can have a really good time doing my yoga with my own smells <laughs> that I enjoy. In addition, I like to take my water bottle. You guys know that I, um, love to use these tea infusions. Um, I like cold tea because I'm from the South of the United States. So I've gone ahead and put my tea bag into my water bottle and then I'll just fill it up with water when I get there. So that goes in. Also, sometimes classes get canceled. So if I show up there tomorrow and my yoga class has been canceled, I need to be able to be nimble enough to do something else. So I also into my bag, put my weightlifting gloves in case something happens. I'm running late. I miss my class. I can't get in. It's oversubscribed. It's canceled. Um, then I have my weightlifting gloves with me so that I can just go to the gym and do a workout in the gym. Also getting dressed to shoes every day also means fixing your hair and face. And I like to wear makeup at the gym. Some people don't like to wear makeup at the gym. It's personal choice. I like to wear makeup at the gym because there's mirrors everywhere. And there's nothing worse than like coming out of a down dog and you're all sweaty and flushed. And then you look at your face and all you can see is eye bags because you've been up all night with a toddler. I like to have my face on at the gym. So I put my makeup bag right at the top so that I can do that before I go tomorrow. Also, after we swim and have a shower, I'll need to put my makeup on again. Um, so there's that. Other little things that I need, of course, I need my gym card to get into the gym. This is the class schedule. Um, just things I like to have with me. There. It's a huge bag and it's just for me. This is, doesn't include the kids. It doesn't include my husband. This is just me to get to the gym, to do yoga, to have a shower, to go swimming and to get dressed again but it's all packed. I'm all ready to go. So I won't have any stress tomorrow morning and I can do everything straight away with the kids. I will also pack a bag like this 
for the children today and I'm going to put them straight into the car. So in Fly Lady, that's called using a launch pad. So you get your stuff ready for the next day. You get yourself all prepared for the next day and you put it into the place where you know you're going to remember it. And for me, I'm just going to stick it straight into the trunk of the car, the boot of the car so that I don't need to worry about it. My yoga kit is here, so I'm straight up and dressed tomorrow morning. Get the kids gathered up and hopefully we can get out of the house without my husband getting cross um, because, you know, he really needs his workouts. He works five days a week in London. He works in a bank. It's extremely stressful. And, you know, working out for him is a really good release. So this has to happen and the family needs to be organized. So one bag down. But today, all you need to think about is getting dressed to shoes. You shine your sink and you get dressed to shoes. And then tomorrow, we're going to add something else into the routine. The tips to help you do those things, after you shine your sink, put a clean dish towel out for yourself. Put your old dish towel into your laundry basket um, to help you get dressed to shoes. Pick out your clothes the night before. So think about what you're doing. And here, I have an extra set of clothes on the rail because I've even gone so far as to pick out my clothes for Sunday um, because Sunday is the anniversary of both of my children's christenings. Both of my children were christened around the baptism of Jesus service. So one was christened 10th of January, one was christened 13th of January. So it's their anniversaries. So in an ideal world, I would like to get them to church on Sunday. So I've gone ahead and chosen my clothes. It's kind of a unique look for church with leather trousers and boots. I have a pair of, of boots hanging here. And the reason for that is the weather because it's going to be raining on Sunday. So I need clothes that are going to protect me from the rain because we walk. We walk to church. It's just up in our little town. But this also highlights, again, the difference between wearing indoor shoes indoors that are just lace-ups that you only wear for indoors and then having your outdoor shoes organized, which are, you know, clunky boots that you're wearing through rain and leaves and dirt. So that's a little bit of Fly Lady's baby step number two, getting dressed to shoes every day. Really good luck to you. You can do this. Like, don't let those voices in your head tell you that you can't make these little changes. You can shine your sink and you can get dressed to shoes. I'm doing it with you. Everybody in this community is doing it with you. We're all supporting each other. Do not be unkind to yourself. Have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow.